Hello my friends, Joy over here. Thanks for watching this video. I will be guiding you through a half a flow, all levels. And today we're gonna be reconnecting to our roots, right? So we're gonna pay lots of attention to the legs, other feet, um, and just really be in the present moment, right? Rooting ourselves, um, cultivating the sense of, you know, uh, calm, being present and really um, just being mindful of, you know, everything that's happening in our bodies uh, and mind. All right. So with that being said, we're going to be moving a little bit on the slower side today, but it's still going to be challenging. So I hope you have fun. So first, just find a comfortable seat here. Let's just take a moment to ground, to find our center. Rooting down from the sits bones, so press the sits bones down, lift the heart, soften the shoulders. Just start to notice the quality of the breath, the mind. And just simply breathe here. No need to change anything, right? Just stay with your natural breath for now. And then slowly blinking the eyes to open. We're gonna start seated today. So first you're just gonna extend that left leg out to the side here. I'm not gonna be mirroring you guys with the camera. It can get a little crazy. Um, so just square uh, your shoulders towards that right leg. And then lengthen through the spine. No need to force anything here, right? So you keep that left knee bent, uh, the right knee bent. And if that's uncomfortable to you, you can also extend this leg. If you have a prop, feel free to Put a blanket or block under your knee. So sometimes it takes, you know, quite a bit of um, time to warm up the body. So today it's especially a very cold day as I record this video. So we just had snow in Austin. So yes, things are a little bit crazy right now so my body you know is feeling a little bit stiff I do not like the cold friends so just being mindful here kind to my body just noticing what the back of the leg feels like the low back and then walk your hands back slowly take your right hand to the floor in line with your hip just lift here for a little side stretch, that stargaze pose. Happy New Year, by the way. This is my very first class that I'm recording in 20, uh, 2021. Slowly come to a seated position. Switch sides. So as you can see right now, I'm sitting uh, on a blanket, on the edge of a blanket. So it helps me to tilt a little bit more tilt the pelvis so there's less rounding in my spine and more you know space so we're gonna take five mindful breaths here so you can you know continue start to cultivate that ujjayi breath that victorious breath as you breathe in and out through the nose you have a soft bend on that right knee Two more breaths. If you feel ready, start to walk your hands back. 
same thing on this side. We're going to plant to that left hand, raise your hips, stretch the side body. and then slowly release. Now, we can extend both legs and fold here. So we're gonna be revisiting those poses towards the end of the class. So I just want you to notice, just observe. So just fold here, nothing crazy, but again, avoid that rounding, right? And like forcing the stretch no just just go as far as your your body allows you to and that you can keep you know that spine long so we have like all those energy channels throughout the body right so i'm sure y'all have heard of that so that's what we call the chakras so basically we want to clear the space for the energy or prana we call in yoga uh, to move freely through the body. Two more breaths here. Energy through the feet. Spread your toes, flex them. And then slowly release. We're going to take a quick reverse tabletop your altar pose so make sure your hands are in line right your wrists are in line with those shoulders you're gonna bend your knees first just stack your knees over the ankles and now lift your hips up towards the sky you can simply gaze up towards the ceiling you can let your head fall back here see where you are breathe for three two and one, slowly come all the way down. Very nice, my friends. We're gonna stand at the top of the mat. And we're gonna just, I'm gonna do this facing you, but you guys can stand uh, at the top of your mat. So you're just gonna start to link breath to movement here. So you're gonna stack your feet about hip width apart. Make sure you're not externally rotating, right? So make sure your toes are not turning out or in too much, just parallel to each other. You're gonna keep a soft bend through the knees the whole time. I want you to really activate through the belly. So we're gonna inhale, sweep the arms. With the flat back, exhale, start to hinge at the hips. Fold slowly here. Now inhale, halfway lift. So press your hands on your shins. Exhale, bow. Now bend your knees generously. Roll your spine to stand. Roll each vertebrae. Inhale, sweep. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, lengthen. Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, release. Two more times at your own pace. As you breathe in, lengthen, halfway lift. As you breathe out, release. Last one, inhale. Exhale to fold. Hold it here. Shake your head yes and no. Open and close your mouth. Grab your elbows with opposite hands here. Relax your toes. Again, the more discomfort you feel in the back of your legs or low back, bend your knees even more. You're gonna release your left hand to the floor and bend your left knee as you raise your right arm to the sky. And release, switch sides, inhale.
Relax that right shoulder. One more time, breathe in. And breathe out, release. Inhale to rise. Palms touch, hands to the heart center. Excuse me. Of course, I have to sneeze when I'm recording this class. <laughs> All right, friends, this is real life during COVID. Lace the fingers behind your back. Take an inhale. We're going to start to open the shoulders a little bit and continue to opening the back of the legs. So breathe in and breathe out. Bend your knees. Fold here. Rinse your knuckles away from your spine. Again, release any tension from your neck, shoulders, your face. Last one. And release. Take your hands, plant them off uh, on your steep mat. Step back to your plank. You're going to find a long line from the crown of the head all the way to the heels. Your knees are always welcome to come to the floor. Or you can even come down to your forearms. Just hold it here for three, two, one. Lower down. Hug the elbows in. Inhale, baby cobra here, keep it small, and release. Child's pose, downward dog. Either walk or hop, step to the top of your mat, breathe in, look up and lengthen, breathe out, release. Inhale to rise. Exhale, right back down. Breathe in to lengthen. Breathe out, step back to plank. We're going to add a little side plank here. So inhale, raise that right arm. Option to bring that left knee to the floor. And switch sides. One more time, each side here. Lift your hips as you do this. Press firmly through the hand that is in touch with the earth. Make sure that core is nice and tight here. We're going to lower down. Inhale. Exhale. Take a back bend of your choice. You can do a little spider cobra or regular cobra and release. Downward dog. Bend your knees, look forward. Make your way to the top of your mat. Big breath in. Slow breath out. Inhale to rise, hands to the heart center. All right, inhale, sweep, exhale to fold. We're going to step our left foot back this time. Take your knee to the ground, raise your right arm. So we're going to add a little twist here. That left hand can come to a block. Slowly release. In fact, I'm going to be using blocks today just because I feel a little extra tight. So you don't have to use them. You can even use books with hard cover here, like a big, thick, you know, book. So now just frame that right foot and I want you to breathe deeply into the front of that left hip. So just make sure you're not simply collapsing here, right? So you're still engaging, you're pulling that belly in, you're pressing through that right heel. The spine is long. You're 
your hips are nice and square. You're going to add a little bit of movement here. So take an inhale. Exhale, you're going to shift your hips back. So you're extending through that front leg. Inhale, really bend your knee. Exhale. Do this two more times, my friends. So you're working the hips, right? And also the leg. Last one. You're going to hold here. So try to keep your right leg as straight as possible, but you're not locking up that knee, right? You still have the soft bend. Pay attention to your foot, right? Curl those toes. Lots of energy. Wake up the entire right side here. Now, your spine, right? So again, not rounding, lengthening here. Wrap the shoulders back and down. As you notice a little bit more space, maybe walk those hands forward a bit more. Gonna inhale, re bend your knee, step back to your plank. Inhale, exhale, flow. If that's what you want, of course. It's about freedom, right? Choosing what best serves you whenever you come to your mat. Bend your knees, look forward, make your way to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to release. Inhale to rise. Let's add a little bit more into the shoulders. Lace the fingers once again. Breathe in and breathe out. Release. Make sure you're not losing connection to the breath. One more. Release the hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step your right foot back. Your right knee is going to come to the floor. Make sure you do have that left knee aligned with your ankle. You're going to raise that left arm. Take the twist. Brighten the fingers. And slowly release. Just first hold here for three breaths. You may notice it's a little difference between the right to the left hip, or sometimes it's a huge difference. In my case, my left side is usually a little cranky and I have to be a little bit more mindful. Sometimes I spend extra time in a pose. Final one. As you exhale, we're going to start to again move back and forth. So we do this four times, right? Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. And breathe out. Two more. If you need extra, do. You can do that. Otherwise, hold it here. Try to soften in those areas where you feel resistance. Mm -hmm. 
notice the need to grip, to escape. Again, give yourself permission to feel whatever it is that's going on in your body. Sometimes it's in your mind. And to be okay with discomfort. Not pain, right? We don't want to feel any sharp, burning pain. But a little bit of discomfort is part of the process. You're creating a space, right? Peeling the layers for the energy to move. All right, slowly rebend that knee. Feel free to flow, move like you, or you can just simply take a child's pose or downward dog. You're going to step your right foot forward again. You're going to take that knee to the ground. You're going to repeat the same thing, just adding a little bit more here. Reach your fingertips back, bend that back knee, my friends. For that quad stretch, always feel free to grab a strap, a towel, or just curl the hamstring, right? You don't have to, in fact, catch your foot option here to also take that right knee away from you as you roll towards the outer edge of your foot, creating a little bit more space for the hip. See if you can lean back here. So think of the tips of the shoulder blades touching behind your back. And slowly release. Take a big breath in here. As you breathe out. Go right back into that runner's lunge here or Ardha Hanumanasana. Try to keep that left knee under the hip. Maybe you walk your right foot forward a little bit more. We have one final breath. You're going to go into pyramid pose, two straight legs. So you may have to hop that back foot a little bit. Try to keep your back foot about 45 degree angle. So you want to shift your right hip back, left hip forward. You may adjust the height of your props. Start to shift the weight into the right foot a little bit more. You're going to add a little twist here, so you're going to keep your left hand on the floor or a block. You can take your right hand just to your hips here. Make sure your sacrum is nice and level. Or you can even raise your right arm to the sky as you twist. And release. Step your left foot to meet your right. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold. Breathe in, lengthen, breathe out, fold. Inhale to rise. And a little side stretch. So right hand catches your left wrist. Bring back to center, switch. Inhale, exhale to fold. Big breath in. We're gonna go right to the other side. 
Remember, it can always flow in between. You're going to add that twist. So raise your left arm up. And then slowly reach your fingertips back, catching that right foot, ankle, whatever it is that's available to you. Notice if that right shoulder right is coming up towards your ear, wrap back and down. Mindfully release, shift back into Ardha Hanumanasana, runner stretch. Maybe walk your foot forward a couple inches. They tap your toes, breathe. So this is familiar to you, right? So try to right away get into the pose and just start to breathe deeply and slowly through sensations. Gonna find two straight legs here, curl the back toes under. How's your breath? Are you simply breathing, being present? Or is your mind wandering around, stepping into the future, or perhaps going back into the past? All right, we're going to be adding that little twist here. So again, same option to simply take your hand to your hip. It can be gentle. It can be a small range of motion here. Or for some of you, you may extend that arm up on the side. I'm going to modify. And then slowly release, stepping your right foot to meet your left. Take a breath in and a breath out. Hold. Take an inhale. And exhale. Inhale to rise. Hands to the heart center. All right. So we're going to be adding, um, going a little deeper here into the hamstrings a little bit. So I want you all to step your feet hip width or even wider, if that's what you need right now. And you're going to take your peacemaking fingers, right? So your index and middle finger. So when you hook your big toe, make sure you're not turning your hands out, right? So your palms face each other. You wrap those shoulders back and down. So slowly just hinging here. Soften the knees. Hook your big toes from inside. Take an inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, pull into the toes as you fold here. Bend your knees as much as you need, friends. So think of your belly touching your leg, then your chest, and the last thing will be your forehead coming closer to the shin. Good, and then slowly release. Take your hands to your hips. Inhale, and slowly come all the way up. All right. Now we're going to work a little bit on a uh, back bend. So we're going to work with camel pose or strasana. For those of you with um, 
that's the word I'm looking for. Uh, with anything going on on your knees, right? Sensitive knees. Make sure you add a little extra padding here. It can be simply folding the top of your mat or if you have a blanket uh, or a towel, feel free to do that. I like to work with my toes tucked under when I work on my camel pose. So just take your hands behind the sacrum, point your fingers down now, squeeze the shoulder blades behind your back here. Take an inhale, exhale, just press the hips forward. Lift your gaze. Draw the navel towards the spine, right? So make sure that belly is engaged here. Come back to center. Sit on your heels for a moment. We're gonna work on a little uh, stretch for our feet. So the first one we're gonna do, I'm gonna turn around so you can see what I'm doing with my feet. So if you have tight hips, squats, feel free to sit right on the block. So you're gonna cross one foot on top. So think of the top of the left foot resting on the arch of the right foot. So if you can, bring the shoulders over the hips here. If not, you may have to move forward a little bit here. And then you can slowly move around just a little bit from side to side, back and forth. And then feel free to tap your feet and switch side. So now take, yeah, I definitely feel my left foot a little bit more. So you choose how intense you want to make this, right? So again, you can move a little bit from side to side, back and forth. We don't pay enough attention to our feet right and they support us throughout our journey every day carrying us to places on adventures work so it's important to make sure that you give your feet some love and release All right, I'm gonna do one more back bend here and then we're gonna do another, uh, a little bit more of footwork here. So now you do have the option to go deeper with the hands to your heels. You can, some people like to bring the hands behind the legs or you can stick with that very first variation. One variation that I like to do, it's super fun, tucking the toes, right hand catches your right heel Inhale, press forward, reach the left arm up and over. So this is a preparation to go into a full camel. Now you sit back, switch sides. Let's take a little dance here. Inhale, exhale. Do this a couple more times or if you're already holding the heels or hands behind your sacrum. Just stay there for about five breaths. And release. So now we're all gonna keep our toes tucked under, sitting on the heels. So even your pinky toes um, should be touching your mat. So try to spread your toes here. So this is intense, it's called toes on fire. Ideally, you wanna have the shoulders over the heels, right? Over the hips, so shoulders, over the hips, 
hips over the heels. If this is like no joy, too much, start to slide your hands forward a little bit here. So taking some of the weight off your feet. Take your hands, lace the fingers, press your palms out in front of you and then slowly up, but slide the shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, exhale, round here. Inhale, reach up. And again, exhale. And slowly release, my friends, tap your toes. I haven't done this one in a while, so definitely feeling quite a bit today. All right, so now I want you to come to the top of your mat. And for some of you, you may need one or two blocks, a blanket, or all the things. So we're going to go into Virasana Hero's Pose. So see if you can start this with your knees touching. So your heels are going to be right outside your hips, right? You're not sitting on your heels for this one. So if you want to use the prop, you take the block right under the six bones. And this may be your hero's pose today. When I first started doing this pose, I used three blocks, no joking. So you're like, okay, I'll stay here for a little bit. Or you can start to walk the hands back, lean back a little bit more. Make sure those knees are not coming off the ground. You're gonna feel this in your ankles, your quads, hips. So think about lengthening that tailbone towards the knees, right? Maybe you come down to your forearms and a block right under, like around the shoulder blades. You can hold it here or you can release. Take the head to the floor or a block, maybe the arms overhead. So that block is a nice support here for me. It adds a little bit of a back bend as well. It's a nice opening here through the front body and I'm feeling my quads my feet, right, those ankles as well. Let's take a big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Again, breathe in and breathe out. Slowly, mindfully start to release the pose. Just pause here for a moment. And then slowly release. So now we're gonna go back to where we began today, right? So I'm gonna grab my blanket, give myself a little extra support here today. So hopefully you're gonna be feeling way more spacious now. So it doesn't matter which side you do first. I'm gonna start on my left side. So sit tall here, take a big breath in. Exhale, start to walk the hands forward. And you may notice that this time around, you might be able to go deeper without compromising the integrity of the pose, right? You know what I mean by that? It's, you know, keeping that spine long, the shoulders relaxed. Toes curl towards the shin.
and mindfully walk the hands back. Now we're gonna add a seated twist. So you can keep your right knee bent or you can extend the bottom leg. You're gonna cross your left leg over so you have roughly the ankle in, in alignment with your knee. And then you're gonna twist to your left. So the knee that's on top, the opposite elbow crosses over. Gaze towards the back shoulder. So use your inhales to lift, exhales to twist. And slowly release. Let's switch sides. So sit tall first, take a big breath in, wake up your toes, and exhale, fold. Go back to the breath, go into the peaceful, quiet space within. slowly release, going into that seated twist, sit nice and tall, take that hand behind your back, sit nice and tall, shift your gaze back, fully release. Now just crossing the legs, we're gonna fold one last time. So take a big breath in, stretch your arms up and over, and then exhale, fold. Your forearms may come down to the floor, you can use a block here. Just make sure your sits bones are not coming off the ground. Feel free to stay here a little longer. You're gonna find your way to a comfortable position on your backs. You can extend your legs. You can bring your legs to butterfly and maybe slide blocks under the knees or with the legs straight, placing a blanket or a block under the legs also feels nice to create a little bit more space in your low back as you go into your shavasana your final relaxation i hope you enjoy and um i i hope you join me next time on your match uh, i will have more videos um coming up uh, soon thank you so much from my heart to yours namaste